Shalom, my dear friends. We are studying together the parables that uh, are found in the Gospels, in the New Covenant, in the Brit Hadasha, the parables which Yeshua taught when he was here upon the face of this earth. We have arrived to a parable that is found in the Gospel of Mark and in chapter 4, and that parable is called the parable of the seed growing of itself. In Hebrew, it is called Mashal Hazera Hagadel Me'atzmo. This is a very interesting parable. It is found in Mark chapter 4 and verses 26 to 29. I would like to read for you this parable. And we read in verse 26 of Mark chapter 4. And he said, So is the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day. And the seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how, Yeshua the Messiah is saying. In verse 28 we read, For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, First the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Now this parable, that is called the parable of the seed growing of itself, is a parable that is found only in the Gospel of Mark and chapter 4. It is not found in Matthew chapter 13. Neither, it was not. it is also not found in Luke chapter 8. This parable is actually part of the parables that the Lord gave, which he called them in Matthew chapter 13, the uh, parables of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. To remind you that in Matthew chapter 13, Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah, gave his disciples eight parables, which he uh, did not allow, you might say, to the unbelievers to understand those parables, but he expounded some of these parables to his own disciples. Why? Because these parables of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, and I'm underlining the word mysteries, in Hebrew is the word is sod or sodot. It means that in this present age of the rejection of the Mashiach, from his first coming and his rejection to his second coming and his acceptance by Israel, there will be events that will, go, will be happening and going on here in this world which will be unique. A king is in heaven, yet his kingdom is on earth, and he's reigning over the hearts of those that have trusted in him. That's why it is called the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. And in these days in which we live in today, my dear friend, we discover by the word of the Lord that there will be things that are happening here on earth that will be very unique. The eight parables that Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah gave in uh, Matthew chapter 13, the parable of the sower, the parable of the weeds among the wheat, the parable of the master seed, the parable of the leaven, the parable of the treasure, the parable of the pearl of great price, the parable of the net and the parable of the homeowner. Eight parables in Matthew chapter 13. And this parable really fit inside one of these parables in Matthew chapter 13. And together, these are nine parables that represent the parables of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, in which during this age, the seed of the word of God will be presented and preached throughout the world. 
At the same time, as the seed is being presented throughout the world, the gospel will be preached. There will be those that will accept the message of the gospel, but there will also be those that will reject the message of the gospel. This is the parable of the sower. In the meanwhile, there will be also, within this period of time in which we live in, there will be the parable of the weeds among the wheat represent the fact that Satan will also sow seeds of tares, of weeds, false teaching, false practices. He will, you might say, sow seeds of those who claim to belong to the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, but in actuality, there were unbelievers who do not believe in the person of the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, unsaved. So in this age in which we live in, true believers in the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, will live alongside those who are truly not believers. In a sense, it is like the word Christendom, professing believers in this church age, but sadly, there are only those that are truly have accepted the Messiah will be born again, born by the Spirit, while many who reject the Messiah, who do not really embrace Him as their Lord and Savior, they may have an appearance as if they are children of God, but in reality, they are not. That's why the a, a parable of the weeds among the wheat is that which Yeshua taught his disciples. This particular parable, my dear friend, the parable of the a seed that grows of itself, is teaching us a tremendous lesson that will help us to get a hold of what Yeshua is seeking to teach his disciples. Let me just mention a few things about this parable. Number one, this parable, as I mentioned earlier, is not mentioned in any of the other Gospels, only in the Gospel of Mark and chapter 4. Secondly, through this parable of the seed growing of itself, the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, is teaching his disciples that the seed of God's word which will be preached today, it will grow of itself. Notice what we read in verse 26. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground. This is verse 26. But then in verse 27, Yeshua Jesus continued to say, And should sleep, and arise night, and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, and he doesn't not know how does the seed grow up. See, the Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, is seeking to instruct his disciples that during the age of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, the mysteries of the kingdom of God, as it is mentioned here in the Gospel of Mark, the message of the gospel of the grace of God, the glad tidings, the news that the Messiah died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried and that he rose again according to the scriptures, which this Hebrew scripture predicted that the Messiah will come, that that message that as it is proclaimed, the servants of God should rest assured that God's word will bring forth fruit and that they should not be discouraged because even when it's seemingly the message of the gospel fall upon ears and hearts which initially do not seem to be receptive, Yet God's servants should trust God that he will ultimately will bring fruit out of the preaching of the message of the word of God. Remind me what God through Isaiah said to our people of Israel in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11, 700 
and 50 years prior to the coming of the Messiah. God said as he was about to judge his people Israel and send them to captivity, he said that ultimately, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that for which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereunto I sent it. God said that he will bring about fruit out of the faithfulness of the presentation of the word of God. In the context of Isaiah, it is to the nation of Israel. And in the context of Matthew, Mark, and Luke in the Gospels, Yeshua is assuring the disciples that during this kingdom age, the mysteries kingdom age, the seed of the word of God will grow of itself because the seed has a power within itself. It is the word of God. And during this age, this mystery of salvation and the mystery of regeneration will be evident. While we don't see outwardly what is going on, yet God works in the hearts of individuals. It reminds us of that which Yeshua said to Nicodemus, Nakdimon, the ruler of our own Jewish people, in John chapter 3, who came to him by night and he said to Yeshua, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. And you remember as Yeshua said to him that he must be born again, he said that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. And then Yeshua said something that is very important to understand. The Lord Jesus said in verse 8 of John 3, The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but you cannot see whence it cometh, whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. You see, my dear friend, the, the word of God has power within itself because it is God's word. And because God's word is his word, it grows within itself. We don't need to force anyone to become a child of God. We do not need to force anyone to accept Yeshua the Messiah. We don't need to pay someone to claim to be a child of God. This person who heard the message does not need to work and to earn it. He doesn't need to work out in order to be redeemed and saved. No, it is a miracle of miracles that the seed of God's word is growing of itself. That's why the Lord Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, said to the disciples that the kingdom of God is, is as if a man cast out seed into the ground, and then he should sleep, and then he rises night and day, time is passing by, night and day, and night and day, and night and day, and yet the seed, which is the word of God, is working in hearts and in consciences. And we read, it, it's springing out and it grows. And this man that sowed the seed does not even know how. Just the same, beloved friends, just as the seeds that God have given us to sow in the ground today, any seed, any fruit, any vegetable, it grows of itself and one does not need to do anything for it except to sow it, let that water come down and let God bring the fruit. It reminds us 
of the verse that is found in Genesis chapter 1 and verse uh, 11, where God said in his creation, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herbs yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. Verse 12 of Genesis chapter 1 says, And the earth brought forth grass and herb, yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning was the third day. And so precious it is to know that as we preach the message of the gospel, we must trust God to bring the increase and not to depend upon anything that we do rather than to trust God that by His Spirit, He will work in the hearts of individuals. So in verse 26, of Mark chapter 4, the kingdom of God is as a man sow seed. In verse 27, the seed will spring up and will grow of his own self. And in verse 27 of Mark chapter 4, he does not know how. Why? Because it is a mystery. This is a mystery of salvation. And this is the mystery of regeneration. God is working in the heart of man. God is the one that by the Spirit of God, in the power of the Spirit of God, he convicts the hearts and a person become a child of God. And now we read in verse 28 and 29, where the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, continues. He said, in the same way, just as God designed in the natural world, in natural things, as we have just read in Genesis 1 verses 11 to 13, so it will be spiritually. It is the power of God, in the power of the Spirit. And the seed is will be the one that will grow of itself. And so we read in verse 28 and 29, And the earth bringeth forth its fruit, herself. First the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. And when the fruit is brought forth, when finally there is growth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. And so there is a, an encouragement to present the word of God and let God do the work by himself in the power of the Holy Spirit of God. That remind me of the verse that we read in, a, in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 when King Shlomo, who gave us the book of Kohelet, Ecclesiastes, Shlomo, Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 11 verse 1, Cast thy seed, or cast thy bread, upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. And this, beloved brothers and sisters and dear friend, is an encouragement to our hearts to trust that God will use the preaching of the Word of God to bring a result, to bring fruit for His own glory. Before the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, went to heaven, after his death, burial, and resurrection, he said to his disciples in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, he's saying to the Talmudim, to his disciples. You're going to receive the power of the Holy Spirit who will come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. What a wonderful message 
he had given to his own people. We just simply have to share the message of the gospel, the word of God, the sincere milk of the word, no more and no less. It is God's word. And God promised, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it will accomplish that for which I sent it. So my dear friends, it is an encouragement, encouragement to our hearts to just go ahead and share the message of the gospel and the seed will surely grow, which is the mystery of salvation, the mystery of regeneration, when a person who was once lost, accept Yeshua the Messiah, accept the gospel of the grace of God, and become a child of God, born again, born of the Spirit of God, born in the power of the Spirit of God, and not in the power of men. May God help us to be faithful in sharing the sincere word of God, and, and make sure that people hear of the love of God through the person of Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah, who loved us and gave himself for us. God bless you, my friend. Shalom, shalom.